Hey guys, my name is Jennifer, and if you didn't read the title, today I'm going to be talking about getting accepted into the Fall Advantage Disney College program. So I recently got accepted into the Fall Advantage Disney College program and Walt Disney World, and I'm going to tell you guys about the whole process of getting in. So first I had to submit my application, and luckily everything was already done because I thought about submitting for spring 2020 but I had too many required classes that were only offered in the spring that I needed to get done so I decided not to do it this semester and that really the only semester I could do it was next semester so I submitted for the fall 2020 and luckily I already had all my information in because I'd been thinking about submitting for the spring 2020. So I submitted my application about two or three days after the application opened. And yeah, I just was like, okay, you know, whatever happens, happens at this point. And 15 minutes later, while getting ready for bed, I got the email saying you have been selected to move on to a web-based interview. And so I had three days to complete that. And I decided the best day for me to do it was Wednesday night because I have a lot of classes on Tuesday. And then my mom was coming to visit me that Thursday. So I decided on Wednesday night that I would take my web-based interview because again, you still only have that three-day window to do it. And it was just the day I'd be in the best headspace. So for those of you who have either never applied or never made it to the web-based interview, it's kind of like a personality test. I believe it's even done by Gallup. And so it tells you like statements and then you have to select strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, somewhat agree, agree. And you have to choose from one of those. And so one of the questions I remember is like, you do you smile more than most people? And for me, that's something I'm, I very strongly agree with because I'm like always smiling when people see me. And so I did the web-based interview and that was an immediate response. That was immediate action required, schedule your phone interview. So I don't know if you don't pass, if it's immediately you're no longer in consideration or whatnot, but Mine was immediate action required, move on to a phone interview. So that was a Wednesday. And I think the closest after that I could schedule a phone interview was the next Tuesday. But again, I have a lot of classes on Tuesday and I'm always doing homework in the morning. So I didn't wanna schedule my phone interview then. So I decided Wednesday morning because all I really have on Wednesday is chapel in one class. And so I decided to do it before my day started so that I didn't have anything messing in my headspace. So I scheduled my phone interview for 8, 10, Wednesday morning. For all of those of you watching who have never scheduled a phone interview for the Disney College program, make sure that the time zones are in your time. Because when I first saw it, it was in Eastern Standard Time, and I live in California, so I need Pacific Coast Standard. And also, sorry about the loud people, I live on a college campus. People scream sometimes. I don't know why, but they do. So then I am getting ready. I'm getting anxious about it because this was the longest period of time I'd had between any of the application process, and so I'm waiting a whole week to do my phone interview. So I'm not going anywhere in the application process. Like nothing's being decided, but I'm still just anxious because my future is in the balance, so to speak. And then on at seven o'clock-ish on Wednesday morning, I start getting ready. And then I decide to go get Starbucks across the street and walked out so I'd be all ready and everything for the phone interview and I laid out papers and stuff on the floor with notes and my good guest comment from when I worked at Legoland Water Park this past summer and just had everything prepared and to calm my nerves I cleaned till I got the call about right 
on the dot at 8.11. I heard that you could get called 15 minutes before, 15 minutes after. So I just was prepared in this whole half hour window for my phone interview. And so I got the call at 8.11 and they asked the simple question of, oh, are you still available? Right now is now a good time? And then they asked like the simple questions of like, oh, can you legally work in the United States? Do you have a driver's license? And all of that. And, but the rest of it's just a blur to me. I can remember getting asked questions, for example, do you work, how do you deal with upset guests? Because that was relevant to my guest comment. And for me, one of my top roles was lifeguard, which is a very high demand role for them. And it was a role I really wanted and had experience in. So I mostly got questions about the lifeguard role because it was something I was qualified for and wanted. And the only other um, roles I got asked about were custodial, quick service food and beverage, which are both high demand roles, but I had little interest in, and merchandise, which I did have moderate interest in, I think. And, but I believe the only reason I got asked about that one is because I had worked in merchandise before. And so those were all the ones I got asked about. But before I got off the phone, I was just like, just to make sure I can still attend a character performer audition, even if, you know, I'm not accepted yet. And she said, yes, she was like, sorry, I didn't bring that up. But yeah, it, it was just a very quick interview, which... I didn't expect because a lot of people say their interview took 20 plus minutes and mine took 15 minutes at the most. And I was like, well, that was very short. So that either went really well or really badly. And so I just was like, okay, I can't do anything more now. It's all in God's hands. You know, I have no control. I've done all the steps. This was the last step. So now I just have to wait. And so I was nervous about it and I was like checking my dashboard all the time and I had to make myself stop because that was unhealthy and I had in my head, okay, you know, give it two weeks if, because that's how long a lot of people said it took for them to get their acceptance from what I read online. So I was like, okay, well, you have a two week marker, so you're good. You don't have to worry. And the very next Monday, so it's been five days at this point, I kind of, it kind of had like, not slipped my mind, but I was back to focusing on other things and it wasn't really my mind, especially since I told myself like, give it two weeks, you're fine. And so I woke up, I watched a little video on YouTube or something at 7 a.m. And then I rolled back and went back to sleep for another half hour, 45 minutes. And I woke up again at 8 and, you know, I saw my notifications the moment I clicked my phone on. And the first thing, one of the first notifications I see, because it's in my school Gmail, is do not reply Disney College Program, congratulations. And so I hop out of bed super quick, like I just jump out of bed. And I run to my kitchen, cause I know that's where my laptop is. I'm calling my mom and I'm like, mom, I think I got in, mom, I think I got in. And I'm losing, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. And so I open my school Gmail, like my computer and everything and the slow Wi-Fi on the school campus could not go fast enough for me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And so I then see the email that says congratulations and I was super excited and then I navigated my dashboard and found out that I had been offered the role of lifeguard which I'm super stoked about and super excited for and so I am going to be a lifeguard at the Disney College program my dates are May 18th to January 7th but before I could accept I had to go check out everything with my school. So, you know, I immediately heard get ready and go before chapel because Monday is also a chapel day because we have to do three chapels a week and Monday morning is when the chapel is offered. So I go directly to the undergraduate services office at my school 
and I asked them about what to do and they said to submit a leave of absence and today while I'm filming it I did officially get my leave of absence approved but I just had to take a gamble when I accepted because you only have seven days to accept and my leave of absence took like three weeks to process but everything's fine with school everything's good but that's something you really need to do immediately when you get accepted and so that Wednesday I accepted my position in the Disney College program as a lifeguard and I will be auditioning at, for a role as character performer next Monday from now so I believe it's Monday the 24th or something of February in Phoenix I will be auditioning for character performer but I'm really happy with being a lifeguard and I I would be very happy with either role so I'm just really excited to be in the program and excited for this adventure. So I'll bring you guys along.